Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today we're going to take a quick look at a new feature that's going to be coming uh, to Control Hub. And it all has to do with workspaces. So um, everybody's familiar with the workspaces tab. Uh, we've done a couple videos uh, on Control Hub in general. But one of the nice things or new things that we've got coming to workspaces is the ability to assign workspaces to locations. So Quick, simple, dirty is that you're now going to have the ability to kind of organize and visualize all of your workspaces and organize them based off their geographic location. And what we're going to do today is take a quick little sneak peek of what this feature is going to look like that um, we hope to be coming uh, this April of 2001 uh, to everybody. But uh, I wanted to give a sneak peek of how it's going to work, what it's going to look like, um, and kind of just talk about what this is going to provide for the future. So let's get started. As you guys see, I've got my immersive share going right now. Um, so you're seeing me uh, here with uh, Control Hub. I'm, I'm logged in and I'm just going to go to Workspaces. And one of the things you're going to notice here is there's a new uh, tab up top. It says Locations and it's currently in beta. Uh, so when I hit this Locations tab, quite simply right now, I've just got a couple of them that have been set up and uh, just doing this for kind of a demo uh, purposes. But um, what we've done here is we've got uh, Cisco Systems in France. We've got uh, Stark Industries uh, for the Avengers Org here um, in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is the area I'm based out of. And then we've also got a conference site listed here in, in Boston, just to provide some uh, examples. Uh, but quite simply here, um, I'm going to show you two views, and then we're going to add a location to kind of show you how that's going to work. But um, you know, if I look at my map view here, you're going to see kind of globally, we've got uh, 11 total uh, workspaces in two locations here in the United States. And then here we've got uh, in France, uh, one location uh, with four devices. Um, so you can see kind of as you see these kind of globally, you'll be able to see like what devices you have in certain areas if you are you know, a global organization and you have things in different areas. Um, and you, know, you can even hover by you know, individual uh, states. Uh, so this is uh, Stark Industries, for example, where I have five work workspaces. There's six workspaces in this conference site um, uh, location over here. Um, and this is all using the Google APIs, by the way, from a location perspective. So uh, you, you'll be able to get your location information from Google. But let's talk about that. So let's just go ahead and add a demo location here. So um, this is actually kind of the Cisco campus location by default right here. You can kind of move the pin around. Um, you can even do by uh, your GPS coordinates if you want to. But um, you can just give the uh, site a name. Um, and I'm just going to say uh, demo site. You can select the country. Um, and I'm just going to keep this uh, in the United States for right now. And then you can search for address. Um, now I'm going to keep this pretty generic and I'm just going to say New York, New York. Biggest city in the U.S. So there you see, you can see we can kind of um, take this pen and move it around. If we want to put it in a different you know, area, you can zoom in, get exactly where you want to. This is all the, the Google APIs that you would see right here. Uh, and then once you do that, move my head out of the way a little bit here, you just hit save. And of course, this is going to kind of give you a nice little wizard telling you what you can do next. You can add floors uh, on the location details page. We're going to go there. Uh, and then you can assign location or workspaces to the location in bulk or one by one. And we'll kind of show you how to do that as well. So let me close here. So now you see we have our new demo site listed here uh, that uh, we selected 33 Warren Street. Um, so if I click on this site, um, it'll take me to this um, actual location. You'll see here that we don't have anything, you know, kind of set up here. We don't have any floors. I will be able to add floors by simply adding a floor, giving a name and a number. Um, pretty basic today right now what it's going to be able to do, but it does allow you to um, kind of do that. And rather than go through all of these, what we're going to do here is we're going to um, look at one where I've already set up. Um, so let's go to the Stark Industries here. So here's a little bit different. You're going to see, and I'll move my head again, we've got a couple of floors listed here. I've got the main lobby and executive level here at the Stark Industries. Uh, I've got two workspaces in both of them. Um, so you, know, you can uh, click on these, you can edit them. Um, uh, then you've also got kind of the, uh, this is Charlotte here showing the location uh, based off of the Google Maps view. But you've also got kind of a summary here showing me all of the different types of workspaces that I have. So I have five workspaces. Two of them are listed as meeting rooms. One is a desk, one is a huddle space, and I have one other open space. Um, the other thing that you're going to see neat here, and this is we're going to really start to utilize these with some APIs in the future, but you're going to start to see things like number of devices, and you'll see here it's showing me the list of devices that I have so I can get a kind of a good feel of the mixture of different types of devices as well as the, the uh, space types. 
but I've also got capacity. So this is the sum of the aggregated capacity of all the workspaces um, that I have capable for this particular location. So the cool thing here is, is that um, I know what my you know, current limits are. And this is going to be based off of the workspace capacity that you can set on each of your workspaces. So let's go ahead and look at that. So from here, you can hit view workspaces. And what you're going to see here is that you've now got the workspaces being uh, filtered out by a location. So these are all of the workspaces that I have here. If I look at my Avenger cast, for example, you'll see that my capacity is listed at 10 people. So because it's listed at 10 people, that's adding to my aggregate count of the total capacity for this location. Um, if I go back here, well, actually, let's go back to this one more time, because what I do want to show you here is, is that you'll see here now I do have this listed as um, a new tab under my actual workspace showing that it's at Stark Industries um, that you see here and uh, the location where it's at. So I can go from here and I can change the location and floor uh, from this directly. Um, or I can obviously just click on the Stark Industries. It'll take me back here and show me, um, you know, the summary of that location. So if I go back here um, to my, um, uh, let's go back to my site here. Let's go back to view workspaces. So if I click on my work, uh, my workspace right here, this is where I can actually um, edit the device. So this is where we have the, um, the capacity. I can set the meeting type. This is all being shown inside of that uh, location list. So this is where all the information is being pulled. But under the location, here's where I can actually set it. Now, let me show you one here that doesn't have a uh, location selected. So I'm going to hit uh, none for this, and I'm filtering both Stark Industries and none. But um, let's just take, um, we're going to take Andrew's uh, Hubble space right here. So now I have this location field and I can assign a location to this. So I can select my location. I want to say uh, my demo site. Um, there's no floors on this location, so I can't assign a floor. So I'm going to hit save. Now it's going to be listed in the demo site. And if I go to that demo site location, you're now going to see that I have one workspace with a total capacity of four, which was set on that workspace. And I have that WebEx room kit, which was Andrew's as well. Um, and if I hit my view workspaces, now you're going to see that there's Andrew's room kit uh, listed there because it's part of this uh, workspace location uh, page. So again, uh, kind of a high level overview. Um, we're going to um, expand on this. Um, you know, there'll be some more uh, features and things that you'll be able to use this for, but this is definitely the first step in the evolution of Control Hub and providing you additional ways to be able to organize and select and do things with your workspaces and your WebEx devices. So looking forward to some feedback on this. Um, really excited for everyone to start to play with this uh, from the initial uh, kind of rollout to provide some organization uh, features for you and looking forward to the ideas and features that were going to come from this uh, to allow you to do more automation and things uh, at your site and with your organization. So if you have any questions, again, post comments down below. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already because uh, uh, it's the best way to get alerted to some of these new videos. And uh, let us know if you have any comments or anything uh, for specific videos that you'd like to see in the future. So with that being said, have a great day. We'll see you next time.